Okay, so let's get into this game and see what happens. So far, you've got a very nice team comp for this first point. Um, <laughs> sure, let's see, they've got Reaper and Junker Queen. So your tank is a, a bit of a disadvantage. Um, you're doing a good job at trying to stay away from the enemy so far. Um, I think you might have been able to get off the Winston res um, because it looked like the Reaper like didn't quite know where you were. <laughs> um, so if you did like a super jump from below, you could have raised in the air and then by the time you're done raising you would have had a Guardian Angel back to fly back to a teammate. Um, but yeah, that's that's consider like a risky res but it could have been an option <laughs> so, yeah but so far i don't know the enemy team's quite aggressive you're doing a good job at trying to keep your team alive um and yeah you're doing a good job staying out of enemies line of sight you are like kind of using Guardian Angel off a cooldown, but you're not getting punished for it. Um, so that's good. This, <laughs> okay, this positioning. Let's, let's see what happened here. So you GA to far and then you like slingshot to this corner. Uh, you didn't, you didn't die. But if the Reaper was any better, um, I think it would have been a problem there. What you should have done is, as soon as you attach your beam to Farah, you should have like slingshot backwards by pressing S. Because you don't have to look in the direction you're slingshotting. You can use your movement keys to determine the direction as well. So as soon as you, normally what I'll do is as soon as I connect my beam, I would slingshot backwards, back behind cover. Um, so you wouldn't be in this position. <laughs> uh, let me go into free mode, free cap. Yeah, because you wouldn't be in this position far from your team. And had that Reaper been any better, like if Reaper had his like uh, shift cooldown, his fade cooldown and that, uh, you might have been dead because Reaper just does way too much damage for Kiriko to handle. So while Far was in the air, let's go back to yeah. Uh, see, because you've got your beam attached to Far now. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm not used to <laughs> used to this. Let's play it for a bit. See, because. Uh, the beam actually has like quite a far distance so you see as soon as you connect it there you're already down here what you could have even done is just like cancelled everything and just like landed on the floor and then like walked stayed in this general area over here um but like you didn't get punished for it because half of their team is there but in higher ranks this is what the enemy is looking for to make plays um but yeah let's go back to first person how do you do that <laughs> and see the rest so you didn't get punished there all is good and you got the rest of your uh, tank which I think is very good especially on this point since um, the enemies have a shorter distance than what you guys like the enemy spawn is closer than what uh, your spawn is at the moment. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I see you've got your damage priorities, your damage and priorities, which is good. And you keeping up your secondary healer. I think this was a good Valk because um, you're helping your team apply pressure. Uh, the Reaper did flank. <laughs> Um, but sure, you got the res off, which is good. 
I want to check out this reaper flank quickly and see like what actually happened a little bit more back and let's go into free camp so reaper's just chilling here um I wonder who died there who soul that is um so reaper's just chilling and he teleported up oh, okay quite interesting so you are if like it's not your fault it's like you have to play as a team um but if you were more vigilant about the back line the ash could have survived because reaper wasn't doing that much damage and eventually your team turned around and you guys got reaper in the end and your fara got um the ash um but yeah you were mainly focused on your tank Ooh. no i don't want to speak the tank <laughs> you're mainly focused what am i doing okay you're mainly focused on your tank which isn't a bad thing but it wasn't that necessarily necessary Ooh. since the enemies weren't pushing so much but you got the res off the reaper died all good but in the higher ranks um the reaper would have gotten a lot more value than what the reaper did because in higher ranks the reaper would have killed the ash got the health pack gone for your second support or even farah because farah was down there but you know this is a plat game but if you go if you want to improve you have to think forward <laughs> i'm not trying to be mean i'm trying to give tips your playstyle is very good so far you've got very good damage and priorities and you've got good priorities for keeping your support alive and helping with the tank healing which is a bit iffy this season hopefully they revert the change back to like 15 <laughs> percent but yeah let's continue so you guys have won this fight they are regrouping so this is like optimal time for your team to regain old charge if they used ult um so what i would do is i would mainly focus uh damage boosting the ash at this point uh because fire already has your ult i had a little hiccup with there but anyways you've got good uh damage boost priorities but at this point since the enemy's peaking and everyone's like spamming i would be focus i would be focusing on ash with the blue beam uh, since ash used ult in the last team fight Ooh, queen so the enemy is using ults now to engage um so far they haven't gotten much value out of the ult so that's good for you reaper did get far but where was far i think somewhere down there <laughs> I think the Farah might have been out of position. Let's just take a look. Recam, where's this far at? Oh damn, she altered even. <laughs> I mean, like, it's a smart ult, but Farah was alone and this Ash was looking at Farah, so that, that's not your fault at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're doing a very good job at keeping your team alive while the enemies are pushing with ult uh, i think reaper i mean not reaper winston should be falling back by now which he is after his ult um nice engage uh, disengagement from the reaper ult what i would have done so let me pause here quickly for my positioning what i would have done is i would have stayed on this part here instead of jumping down because at the moment yes ash is their hit scam but ash is playing so far back there um you would be completely safe here from the junker queen and the reaper and when the reaper teleports in like obviously you saw it um but to like confirm your safety if, you, if I, what I would have done is I would have like run. <laughs> so I would have guardian angeled up to here. This is still f um, close enough to keep your beam attached to your teammates. 
um, but it's a lot safer for you. And I think when the Reaper teleported in, Ash, yeah, Ash wasn't on the high ground anymore. Where's this Reaper? Oh, the Reaper's coming now. But you're just playing on the high ground when the enemy is like mainly close to medium range is the best thing you can do as Mercy. Because <laughs> it makes it a lot harder for them to kill you and it makes them use a lot more resources. So here comes the Reaper, you, you survived Juguchi. Um, but yeah, your tank died sadly and it's just a lost team fight. What the enemy should have done, which they didn't, was they should have, like, had three on cart. As soon as the team fight was won, had three on cart um, to push the payload uh, quicker. Um, because I think at this rate, you guys do have enough time to touch again. Whereas if there weren't three on cart, then you wouldn't have been able to touch. So Winston got a, a late touch. Oh, and he jumped up. <laughs> oh, what a shame. He jumped up and it caused... Ooh, what am I doing? It caused them to cap. What Winston should have done is because both Kiriko and you, Mercy, was here. Winston should have used his bubble and, like, done a little jump. Um, but they did use Bob. Bob is not... Bob isn't too hard to, like, face against because if the mob is locked on the Winston, uh, Winston would have survived with Kiriko healing and your healing, especially since uh, Kiriko used her ult, so she would have been healing a lot more. Um, but that was just a bit unfortunate. I think you guys could have definitely held first point with your comp compared to theirs. But yeah, let's get a move on. <laughs> Kiriko died, you have to lost team fight, pull out the pistol and try and get your ult quick. So yeah, Wins, uh, not Winston, Reaper's pushing up, which is typical for this point. Um, especially if you just won the team fight on their stragglers. Um, so yeah, their team is playing the second point quite well. I would say this ult was a little bit of a waste because your team was already coming and just to get out of the reap and bats um line of sight you could have played on here or just straight up gone to the ground and healed farah from below because your beam still your beam would still be attached for like one or two seconds and then as soon as your team comes out um then you could have uh, guardian angel to your team and you be safe but you didn't die but you could have saved your ult by playing on the lower ground oh what a nice what a nice block kill <laughs> so yeah over there instead of having the uh mercies blocked out i would have focused on healing winston or farah um because in that sort of team fight, especially since, if I'm not mistaken, you were focusing the tank uh, too, too far forward. Okay. So yeah, you got the Ash and you're focusing the Reaper. But the Reaper had support. So you could have kept Far alive and saved the res. Um, but it's not necessary. You, I'm pretty sure you got the res off. So that's fine. <laughs> um, but it could have been like a preventive death and you could have saved your res for another situation. Like for example, if your Winston died there, uh, you could have raised Winston. You could have had res to raise Winston and sustain the team fight that way. Um, but he didn't die, so that's good. But that could have been one of the luck outcomes. But your, your team is playing quite well. You guys are playing together, which is surprising from my experience in Plat. This, this does not happen. <laughs> but yeah, uh, both of your DPS have 
ult, so it doesn't matter which one you pocket. Obviously, you pocket the one that's doing the most. Sadly, I can't see stats. Um, but I'm pretty sure Far is doing the most. She has the most spam damage. Good job, Winston dive your team. Good job. I'm keeping Ash alive. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure if... Well, from what I've seen, most Mercies uh, would have been pocketing Forest or when the Reaper teleported in. So good job in keeping Ash alive and having awareness of the enemy's positioning. That's very good. <laughs> so your Winston's in kind of a lone, cheeky little pistol. Didn't provide too much value, but it didn't take away any value either if that makes sense like you didn't get a kill and they didn't get a kill during that time so it's not too bad and both of your dps still have oh my gosh hey guys as you may or may not be able to tell from the last clip um i got disconnected from overwatch and it's been about two days um since then uh so i'm gonna carry on now don't quite remember what I said last. I think I was just talking about like team positioning or something. I don't know, but let's let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> so your Winston's on point. Oh yeah, I remember this. We saw this. So I skipped a bit too far back, but I think we're about here. Um. I think you could have kept Kiri alive there, to be honest. Um, let's let's see Kiri's point of view. Let's just see how much damage Kiri was taking. Kiri wasn't taking too much. She did heal. Okay, never mind. <laughs> she did take too much, and it was a headshot. Yeah, not much you can do. You did a good thing of escaping. Winston did get a pick, and Fara did unfortunately waste her ult. Um, but yeah, at this point of time, you guys got ults, especially Winston, and there should be enough time for Winston to get back to point. And you've almost got Valk. So your team is looking good. At the moment, they have two ults, and you've almost got four. Um, so let's let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, you guys did a good job at re uh, regrouping. Unfortunately, Reaper did provide enough space for them for you guys not to touch. Um, but you've got this point. This point is quite nice with the jump crash, honestly. Don't know what your Winston was doing there. <laughs> Good job. Good ult. You kept Kiri alive. I don't know why Winston's standing still the whole time. But for those who don't know, when you use your ultimate, Mercy does have increased healing i think it, she heals like an extra 10 health um so that could have been the difference of keeping your kiri alive at that what point this point yeah around okay not damn yeah over here she did use suzu so that helped as well um, but I think you would have been able to heal her through her using like Suzu, especially since Reaper faded. But you're very nice ults. I call these like defensive ults, where you use it to make sure you can sustain your teammates, um, which is working. And you pulled out the Glock. <laughs> it's always fun to pull out the Glock, and that was fun because they had two downs so you guys were winning the team fight and uh, then moira kind of wasted their ult um but yeah that's fine. 
Now the plan is to try and gain your ult as quick as possible. So that will be through damage boosting. Ooh, you heard the reaper footsteps. <laughs> That's nice. But yeah, my goal at this point, since you've got two ults, Mercy, Mercy's ult you can get quite quickly depending on how you play. Um, she gets, obviously she gets more ult charge from healing, but she does get some ult charge from damage boosting. It's not as much as healing, but it's something. Um, so yeah, they've got Bob and they've almost got Doom's ult, which if in higher ranks, uh, you would learn how to ult track and that. Um, Namura obviously doesn't have her ult and we would assume Reaper and Bap are around the 50% range. But yo, all is good so far. I still have no clue what your Winston's doing. <laughs> you helping your Ash, that 2v1. She fell unfortunately. The Reaper. What I would have done here, since Winston used his ult, um, when Kiriko died, instead of a guardian angeling here and then jumping there, I would have flown straight to the junk rat and then like slingshot out of that wall to get with Winston because your guardian angel you had to use your slingshot to go up there. Whereas you could have just gone to junk and slingshot out of the room. Uh, that would have kept you alive. And maybe you could have won the team fight. Yodge. <laughs> junk and Reaper traded. <laughs> um, okay, we, we are typing girly. Or changing the music. Ash got a good pick. Dream used these ulties, yeah. Would be looking with Doom Alt. I don't know if most people uh, know this or not, but you can tell by the audio of his ult if he's gonna land on you or not. So like around here, you can you can hear that Doom is close. So he's either going to uh, land on you. Or your ash because you can hear he's in like this vicinity um normally the tanks would go for supports but i don't think doom saw you before he used his ult so he went for ash um but yeah doom is just annoying <laughs> you got the res off which was cool um yeah normally Doom, Dooms just hate Mercy for some reason. <laughs> um, could you damage boosting Bob? That's always good to see. At this point, over here. Um, okay, we're a bit far back. At this point, I would have swapped my beam to pocket ash who i think's further back there or to help out winston because bob can't see them anymore and you see they're already so low and bob can't see them so i would most probably damage boost winston by now to try and get those kills because i think i think if you damage boost winston at least doom would have died there because you saw how low he was and then Bob's gone. Unfortunately, it's a lost team fight, it looks like. Unless, yeah, there's like a 2v4. Uh, um, but you're, you guys are stalling, which is good. Um, oh, what happened? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. Um, at this point, I would say there's not really a chance of stalling like if you're going in one by one and you can't regroup 
NGN over time um, just take it as a loss um, if you weren't in overtime and the time was above a minute I would recommend stalling to get the time below one minute because then if you cap and you are so in overtime or below one minute um, you would get a minute for attacking or defending um, but yeah if if you can't group up with your teammates in overtime scenario and they're this close to uh, capping there's not really a point you just kind of make your games a bit longer but yeah let's let's hop to the attack okay so in attack you still got winston i would have expected that and you've got a soldier and a widow um widow squad good first and second point on this map uh, they've got a zarya now and a junk rat um so winston will have a bit of a better time than when it was first point on defense uh, but let's let's see how it plays out let's see how this goes i would actually right now i would be damage boosting the widow um because it's very important to try and get a pick as soon as possible especially since they don't have mercy if your widow can get a pick on any one of them Ooh, hiccups if your widow could get a pick on any one of the squishies your team is already at a huge advantage and because of the damage drop off widow has um i'm not too sure how far it is from the trains to the bridge i think widow it might just be distance where there's no damage fall off but if your widow was to like headshot an honor Oh my gosh, guys, I just got my new monitor. Ooh, I'm so excited. Uh, let's get this finished with. I'm not using my new monitor yet. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's see how this goes. So... Yeah, that Guardian Angel is fine. One thing I will say is because you can't see the, the enemy, like what the enemy team is running. For I think it's like the first 30 seconds of the game. I might be wrong. Um, what I normally do is I try and avoid using my guardian angel. Like to super jump and that. Uh, until I know exactly what they're running. Because you could have done that guardian angel. You could have super jumped in the air with widow like this. And there could have been a widow around the corner. And then bam. <laughs> headshot dead um so i normally wait and see until i know what the whole comp is running before i start super jumping and playing out of cover um but as we can see here they don't have a widow and their ash is playing quite far back so you're fine um but in the moment you won't know <laughs> that's the that's that's one tip so yeah, I would, at this point, um, but the, jeez, <laughs> at this point, um, I would be pocketing soldier, because the enemy team is kind of playing at an angle where widow would struggle to get picks, so like I see your widow, um, she flanked and she got Moira, which is good, but now the rest of them are playing here. Um, so I would be uh, pocketing Soldier to try and kill Junk or Zarya. Um, but yeah, but also keeping the team alive like you did. And you got the res off of Soldier. Which is excellent. <laughs> See, and your Soldier got a pick. Um, here are the Glock understandable <laughs> at this point uh, i would kind of be pocketing winston since he's keep he's keep on jumping in and creating that space for your team to move um which you're doing now and i'd actually like encourage winston to like 
jump on the Junkrats or the Arna. Got Antied unfortunately, but he didn't die, which is good. And at this point, I would be pocketing the Soldier on the... We saw Soldier on the ledge there. I'd be pocketing him because Winston's got uh, more than enough health at the moment to sustain himself and there's a health pack there and I'm pretty sure uh, Kiriko is looking at him so I would be focusing on pocketing soldier or widow um, I think maybe widow because widow's closer to um, what do you call it her ultimate and I'd actually leave the healing to Kiriko uh, so Kiriko can get her ult uh, Winston's just going to get his ult naturally because uh, he's playing in the front line. You're distracting Ash a bit. <laughs> we always need some distraction. A good Valkyrie helping sustain and the Glock. <laughs> you like to you like to pull out the the pistol a lot. I see. Um, you are getting away with it, but just to warn you, in the higher ranks. It's a lot easier for DPS to um, kill a Mercy who's Valking and trying to clock them down um, because the higher ranks you go, the more you learn about heroes' movement patterns and like a player's general movement pattern. With Mercy, because Mercy's gun is a projectile, um, you're more likely to like stay still when you're shooting um so in higher ranks dps know that and they can predict like where they need to shoot or where they need to aim to kill the mercy um so i'm just just be wary of that um but yeah your team got away with it there was like no proper need to like uh pocket someone or your team like would have been helpful you would have just probably ended the team fight a bit quicker um, but it's like not that necessary. <laughs> so yeah, you guys got first point with ease. I thought you would, um, considering their comp and your comp. It doesn't look like they're gonna change, but maybe after ults they will change it. Um, so yeah, you you guys are down both support ults. So again, I would try to. Um, what you call it get your old back as soon as possible but your wood is popping off <laughs> so there's no stress at the moment at this point i would have three on cart since widow got all of those picks and now they have to regroup to fight again <laughs> sorry i killed this <laughs> yeah but what you can do if widow plays on the side of the um the roof you can sit on cart and still pocket widow and i think widow has a better line of sight and you can always if widow gets in trouble and falls back a bit you can always just uh guardian angel to widow again but yeah it looks like they just if you guys have three on points you guys would cap it because i have no clue what they're doing to be honest <laughs> they they waiting for the point to cap already you guys got it for free so you know, not much to say when there's not much happening the three of them are trying to touch soldier got a good pick um yeah that was Honestly, very good play on them. I would have actually, um, when Soldier used his visor and got grabbed, instead of damage boosting him, I would have healed him because Zarya is not fully charged. She, she looks like she's about 40 to 50 percent charge. Um, so you, Zarya can't out damage your healing at the moment. And the Ash was more focused on Kiriko from what I can see. So if you were healing soldier, he would have survived. And maybe you guys could have won the fight. Well, let's see if you win the fight. We haven't gone too far. 
But yeah, and you could have healed Kiriko as well. At this point... Ooh, do you get the res off? Oh wow. <laughs> what a nice res. Okay, you got the res off. So at this point it is winnable. If you can keep Winston alive and Widow Soldier can get a pick. Preferably on their support. Ooh, here comes a tire. Okay, now, now it's a lost part. <laughs> now we fall back. Ja, let's... Let's continue. I wonder what you're typing in team chat. <laughs> uh, you've got a May now. That's interesting. Um... I don't know where the bullets have gone, but... <laughs> That was a good pressure. You forced Junkrat to fall down off of high ground. Uh, but Zarya is kind of isolated. Uh, you can get that res off. Because I don't think the Junk will make it up in time. Yeah, he didn't. Um, but yeah, at this point, I would be... Honestly, I would be pocketing like Kiriko. <laughs> it, might, it might sound dumb. But I'll be pocketing Kiriko, so Kiriko can get a rush quicker. But also, you close to your ult. So at the same time, I would also be focusing on healing a lot. You both are identical with ults. So if Kiriko is doing healing, then I would pocket Winston or um, May. Because um, their team is um, quite spread apart. I'm not quite sure how Widow would get too much value. I don't even know where Widow is. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys won that fight. Uh, they're trying to regroup. It's just Zarya. And Zarya C9's <laughs> trying to kill you. <laughs> and, sh and you kill her for it. Okay. <laughs> I think both you and I know that was not needed. They've got Reaper now, so Winston's gonna have a bit of a harder time. Azari has got Grav. I think we could predict that by now. At this moment, I would kind of pocket May to get uh, her ult up as quick as possible. But also, like a headshot from a May article. Can like almost one shot someone. <laughs> yeah. At at this point, I would have just fallen back. Like instead of doing that roundabout and thing, I would have just fallen back or stick to your tank. Where is Winston right now? Okay, maybe not the tank. May I would have stuck to May because May could easily kill Junkrat and Reaper. If May can hit her shots. Um, but yeah, damage boost two shots to both of them dead. And Kiriko, I, I don't think. Let's see if Kiriko used. No, Kiriko has her shift. So Kiriko could also just teleport to May. Let's, let, let's see what happens. Let's see. Okay, Kiriko did not teleport. <laughs> Okay, are you able to get the res off? Oh, that's cool. And I'll just focus healing Winston, keeping him alive. And also Kiriko. This, this Reaper is not getting punished. He's so far out of position. Um, but no one's really looking at him. Okay, May used her ult. Oh, and there's a tire. <laughs> oh my gosh, he, this wall like saved you and betrayed you at the same time because it blocked tire um but at the end zarya was able to get you uh which is unfor if may had i don't think may had any cooldowns unfortunately because i think she used wool when she altered uh what we typing now i still don't know what your winston's doing <laughs> standing still Good, good wall by May, blocking off Reaper's ult. Unfortunately, Zarya got the picks. I would have just run back to spawn instead of 
uh, trying to fly to Widow, you were close enough and you had to out, like, position your, like, out position yourself trying to get line of sight of Widow. Okay, now we've got Bastion. Interesting. And so, John, so you've got two very good pockets. <laughs> that sneaky junk rat. I haven't seen a junk rat in that position a lot. I haven't seen a lot of junk rats, to be honest. It's always lovely to damage boost a uh, bastion in turret form. But yeah, I think you guys have got it. You guys won the team fight. And you guys are keeping more than three on cart, which I think is good. You're pushing it a lot quicker. Okay, Bap kind of wasted his ult. Yeah, I was just about to say at this point I would use my ult to help apply pressure. Um, I would raise Bastion <laughs> instead of being a battle mercy. Um, you get the res off and you killed Moira. So that was kind of worse. So yeah, do you get the Zarya? Nice. Damn, your battle mercy is good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> very risky, but very good. You getting paid off. And now both of you are at a minute. For attack and defense. Oh, let's see how this turns out. Okay, so let's see. You've got Orisa, Junk, a Sojourn, Ana, and obviously you. Um, so this is... Junk I would be kind of wary on this point, considering there's like so much open space. Um, and normally, typically on this point, people like to run Farah or Echo. Um, they have not, they've also got a Junk, but you don't know at this point. So right now, I would most probably pocket uh, Sojourn or Arna, if Arna's looking to get some picks. As we see, they run in Malga. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and Brig. Damn. And then obviously Reaper and Junkrat. So Sojourn should have quite a fair. I mean Sojourn should be quite strong at this point, considering they've they literally medium to close range. Nothing can really contest Sojourn unless Reaper decides to teleport on her. Ooh, I got a hiccup. Okay, now let's see how this turns out. Okay, so Arna does not look like she's getting picks, so I guess her Reese is alright as well, but yeah, I'd I'd be focusing on Sojourn to be honest. Because Sojourn does more damage than Orisa because Sojourn's DPS. But Orisa got Reaper, which is good. You heard the junk rats and you were Pinning to show awareness, let your team be aware. Um, since they all clumped up, I would actually be pocketing Junkrat. <laughs> um, because he excels in like group battles, and does a lot of damage. And Junkrat almost has ult. Okay, good, good disengage, and you got the health pack. Do you kill? And you kill Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely, love the tea bag. Okay, you could okay that was very risky. Uh unfortunately you died. Um you could have avoided this by because Jankra threw the trap down. You could have avoided death by like hugging the wall most probably. Um, because then also, you're like out of line of sight because you could have like started the res, moved back here and you should have been fine. Because the junk rat didn't try to be pure or anything. Uh, but you got the res off which was huge and on a nanoed Orisa and Orisa almost has ult. So at this point, it's looking like a win. But let's see what happens. I think Reaper flanked there. Which was unfortunate. Oh, oh no, Reaper got so much value. 
Um, it's definitely winnable. You've got two ults, basically. I I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> um, I'd be waiting for my team. Because you kind of gave like free ult charge to Malga. Um, but it's fine. Hopefully your team can kill Malga. Tish, where I got you. Okay, <laughs> it's it's a bit rough. From the beginning, I would have stayed with um, Sojourn. I would have let Junkrat gone on his own flanking adventures, and I would have stayed with Sojourn, Orisa, and Ana. Because if you stayed with them, let's let's go back a bit. Like here, if you stayed with them they could have killed Malga and Reaper maybe because they're busy pushing now and you would have been better positioned being on the high ground because now your team is fighting points and unfortunately you did because of a mispositioning um so yeah I think at this point your team should win Sojourn should be able to kill Brigitte and Reaper at the most part. And Malga, to be honest, he's quite low. I'm not quite sure if uh, the support um, uh, will pocket him or that. But if you kill Brigitte right now, if Sojourn kills Brigitte right now, it's like game over, you win. Um, okay, she used ult. Oh no. <laughs> All the ults are coming out at once. Uh, it's fine. You guys got this point. You've you've almost got Valk. Ana can easily get Nano again. And you've got a Farah now, which is very good. You like to pull out the pistol out Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. At this point, it's like just a sense of panic because instead of pulling the pistol out, I would have tried and healed Ana because Ana did uh, nade herself, so her healing would have been amped. And I don't think she would have died to Reaper because, yes, it says a headshot, but it could have been like two pellets that headshot Ana. And then the ult as well. I mean, like, you, you super jumped to safety and Reaper couldn't see you or if he was able to see you he couldn't do enough damage to kill you um so there was no need to use Valkyrie this is like a little bit of a throw move um but everyone's nervous during overtime so mistakes will happen um but if you can get the res off that will be huge which you did so maybe it was worth it in the end uh, you could have escaped without using Val. Um, okay. <laughs> That's very risky. Even though Reaper's low, you point blank range, he can one shot you. Um, I wouldn't be blocking, I would be focusing on damage boost for one of the DPS or Orisa to get her ult. Um, you've almost got Rez back. Um, yeah, it's safe enough. Orisa has enough health. To res, and at this point I'll just stay high ground and they see not <laughs> so this whole fight what can we take away from it um if you escape you escape no need to use your ults um but it paid off in a sense you're able to pull off the res and in that case help sustain your team and I would have stuck onto high ground like at this point I love playing mercy up here because if someone's on here they can't see you and oh my gosh and they don't have any hit scan um so they wouldn't be able to get you and you can reach everyone from here um which as was a classic overtime situation let's see how you guys um attack okay so first glance uh you've got kiri and hog 
depict that are surrounding Hog and Kiri surprisingly and you've got a May and Sojourn and they've got a Torb okay <laughs> Torb is low-key kind of goated if you know how to play him I, that's with every hero though every hero is good if you know how to play them um so from the get-go I would pocket uh, Sojourn or May um, maybe like right at the beginning I'd pocket May since May doesn't have any fall off damage and if she gets a headshot you know that's huge and then when you get closer I would typically uh, damage boost Sojourn uh, so let's take a look and see okay looks like they're playing <laughs> I don't know what their thing is Hog wants to get a environmental kill which he fails okay this is good I would honestly I would have just damage boosted May that whole time because even though you shooting and applying damage you would provide more value and damage boosting May because May would obviously do more damage and get her ult quicker and maybe Hog would have died. I'm not too sure. It looked like he only got to half health at that point. Um, but Jarmé would have been a lot closer to her ultimate, which would have been a huge help for you guys. Um, but just so far, so good. You're making sure your team stays alive, which I think is vital. Um, one of your DPS needs to shoot the turrets and reapers flanking as per usual i must say for the amount of times reaper has flanked and pulled it off your your team isn't really paying much attention to him like you pulling out i mean you uh taking notes to when he teleports and he's behind enemy lines um, but your team seems to be quite tunnel visioned which is a typical thing for lower ranks um so yeah i don't know if you guys were talking in voice chat or not this is where like voice chat would be kind of helpful like if they're not replying to your pings pins pings um then voice chats would be a good option but i don't really use voice chat that much because most of the times i don't understand what people are saying because they speak a different language could be the same scenario here um, but sure, you doing a good job at trying to avoid the Reaper. This, yeah, that dress. But you should have done, even though it was point blank, period, a risky res. Um, you should have like started the res and fallen behind the payload or like started the res from here. Because you don't actually need to be that close to the soul to start the res and when you start the res uh, the res range gets uh, bigger so when you like first start the res I think the range is like five meters and then when the res is busy being taken place um, it expands to seven meters so you can play a bit more safely but yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like you win. Um, which honestly, I would say, not your fault. You had a few hiccups here and there. Um, but they were just able to perform a lot better as a team. And Loki, their Reaper, uh, carried them quite hard with all the flanks. Um, so there's not really much in your power. That's the one thing with Mercy. There's not that much in your power to determine a team fight. If you got res off, maybe the team fight could have changed. But at the same time, look at that. <laughs> no one focused the turret at all. I don't recall seeing the turret die once. That's not your fault. Um, if Reaper didn't teleport up here while you were up here, I would have maybe looked at trying to shoot the turret. Um, but the Reaper teleported up there so you couldn't. 
um so at the end the team just played a bit better than what your team did you did a few mistakes here and there um but not that big of mistakes to win or lose the game like that res was risky um but they already had hog ult they almost had reaper ult your team was just not playing correctly to win the game um if your team went like as i say normally people play faro or echo on this map if they went faro or echo um i think especially far if your team went far i think you would have had a better time on this map but but you're unlucky your playstyle is very nice i'd say you may be a bit too aggressive uh with the battle mercy um luckily you didn't get punished in this game but as as you climb the ranks you get punished a lot more for battle for being a battle mercy that's why normally when you see like higher gameplay of like masters grandmasters or even top 500 mercies you'll see they rarely uh, pull out the pistol unless they know they can get a kill or prevent something from happening like if they can prevent a res from happening because they were able to apply pressure on the enemy mercy or they were able to distract an Ana or a Kiriko from healing the team that's mainly when you would see it but they don't full on like go in 1v1 situations as mercy because unfortunately like mercy's mercy's gun did do a lot of damage but since they upped the health pool it's kind of like not enough damage anymore but sure this was just a bit of an unfortunate team fight uh not your fault so mainly i'd say mainly it was the dps for not killing that stupid turret but yeah it was just an unlucky game but your playstyle wasn't too bad you can't win every game unfortunately and overwatch is a team based game so if you're if it's a team diff unfortunately it's a team diff. there are some situations where you can make a comeback but in overtime it's very hectic and stressful so a lot of people end up making silly mistakes using abilities wrong or that but otherwise your movement's quite good uh, maybe not use uh, guardian angel off of cooldown like save it a bit for when it's important especially if they have hit scans uh ash sojourn soldier widow or cassidy especially if they have one of those on the enemy team uh, you do not want to be flying in the air as much as you were in this game but they didn't really they had an ash for a bit but like that was that anyways i hope this was a bit helpful a bit awkward first time doing this um with time but with time i hope to improve <laughs> as we all do um but yeah thank you very much for this interesting gameplay it was very nice to see another perspective